in the furnace. I'm going to uh, measure the water column pressure coming out of the new gas valve. Uh, my gas valve failed and I put a new one in last night. Uh, I mean, it was the night before. And my buddy John helped me put it in and uh, it worked well. But then later last night, it kept kicking out after every five minutes or so of on. And it was giving uh, five blinking air codes in a computer window. Looked it up on the internet and it said one of the uh, temperature limit switches were open. So with an ohmmeter, I checked them all and found out that this one here was, uh, was tripping. There's a little push button in the center. You can reset it. And this is just a little uh, localized over temperature sensor right above the burners. And uh, my suspicion was that the burners were burning a little bit too hot and uh and creating too much heat in this general vicinity and uh, the only thing that would cause that would be the pressure being too high so i opened up the high pressure side uh and took that to cover screw and there's another plastic screw in there and i turned backed it off exactly one half turn uh, and it seemed to work it lowered the flame just a tad and it never overheated all night long and all day today but when i did that i didn't have a homemade nanometer so i don't know what column water column pressure i actually had uh, it's in the manual of what the range is. So I went to Home Depot today and got some 316s tubing and I got the little uh, barbed petcock eighth inch, but they didn't have an eighth inch. They had a 316 I think it was, uh, or maybe it was 516 and I had to get some adapters down the eighth inch pipe thread. And so I put that on, sealed it up, and had to bleed the lines with the PVC tubing. A little bit of a pain in the butt, but I have a contiguous U-channel water column now with no air bubbles. And very carefully, I have the water level marked right there. And I have the ruler taped on there. And we're going to attempt to measure the water column uh, pressure. And the thing is, it's double this. So basically, you measure how many inches the water goes up, and you times it by two. Because it's the, the increase plus the decrease on the other side. That's how they rate water column pressure. So let's go ahead and turn the furnace on. And uh, we'll see the gas valve in action. So the venter motor verification comes on. It tells the computer uh, whenever this little diaphragm closes, or opens actually, I think it is. Uh, no, it closes on the vacuum. The hot igniter gets signal to turn on, hot surface igniter. That'll take a little bit. It'll get really, really hot. They would ensure that when it gets hot enough, there's a temperature sensor over here. And then that'll trip the computer, tell it to open the gas valve, and boom, you'll have ignition. When the gas valve is open, you can see the output pressure. There it is right there. And up to you. Let's see. I want to say about two and a quarter. So two and a quarter times two is four and a half. So that would be four and a half inches of uh, water column. And what I did notice is about after 15 seconds, you'll see that drop. Uh, so we'll just hold the camera here. I can hold it steady enough. And then we'll see it drop about one and a half on one side times two would be three. So still about two and a quarter. There. The drop to about one and a half. So one and a half times two is three. So for some reason this valve is acting like a two stage. Although it's not a two stage. The book does not call it a two stage. The part number doesn't. They say if it were a two stage you would have another uh, adjustment over here. So this is uh, not molded through or not used, uh, no cap. So this is for a pilot, if you had a pilot. This should have been a low side for two stage and a high side, but it's clearly acting like a two stage valve. Whether it makes any difference, uh, three inch of water column. See if put enough gas through here, I don't see much leaking. It's hard to say whether it's gonna trip this out. Well, I know it hasn't because it just said it. He said it backed off a half turn from the factory. Okay, all night. So we'll go over and look at the paperwork, and uh, you'll see this is a universal gas valve. It says here 36H32. It says uh, 36H32, number of stages one. Fast, yes. Uh, but mine is acting like a two stage with four and a half inches of water column to start with, and it goes to three, uh, which is weird because. It actually, here's the specifications if it were a two stage. For natural gas, single stage low is one to three. And I had uh, three inches actually. And a high is four, right? Four and a half, I think it was. So, uh, yeah, so it starts out with four and a half inches water column. And after 15 seconds, it drops down to three inches of water column. 
inches of water column. So that's for a two stage. This part number does not indicate a two stage. So I don't understand. And because if you look at the adjustment procedure, they indicate that if it were a two stage, this is the screw that I adjusted. I took that brass cover off as a plastic screw, backed that off one half turn because it was burning too hot. That's the one we saw there. That's the pilot one on the opposite side. And this one here is the low side. See, two stage only. So it's not constructed as a two stage uh, valve, but it's behaving like a two stage. Uh, if I, that is if I'm understanding it right. So two stage only, turn clock increase pressure, the original equipment specifications, replace the screw, two stage only, set thermostat, uh, in cashier, clockwise decrease, always adjust according to it. They don't even tell you how to uh, to adjust the first stage versus the second stage because it seems like you only have about 15 seconds. So pressure increase, two stage, I don't know. Maybe it's uh, the, the high and low is not a two stage. I don't know, I just don't know. So there's a dilemma, uh, it's working okay. So I'm not going to complain about it too much. Uh, Sit there running good at an inch and a half, which is three inches of water column. So I'll go ahead and write that on here that I adjusted three inches of water column on this date. Or the eighth, or whatever it is today. And I'm going to shut it all down. I've got to put this plug back in here. Uh, I'll go where that cock is there, that barbed cock. I'm going to move that over to the input side. So there's an input side below it. And uh, I want to see what my input pressure is. I, I don't know what my input pressure is. It should be coming right from the gas meter. Uh, I've never actually tested it to see what my water column is for the input side. There is the uh, gas meter. The other a couple weeks ago, PG Power came out and put a new face on it, a new RF transmitter, so they could just drive by and take readings. So we were going to shut down here, and I'm going to retool and measure the water column of my input side. And there is a, uh, someplace there's some uh, specifications of what that should be. Max 